Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will be taking a look at 5 of the most expensive purchases ever made on Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars is a reality TV pawn shop that deals in the buying and selling of special items. However, depending on how special it is, the cost can shoot up in an instant. So let's see how much Pawn Stars have spent on some of the best items to ever come into their shop. Ah, but before we go into further detail, make sure to like the video and subscribe to get access to more content. Also, keep watching till the end to see the biggest purchase of all time. Number 5. Dutch East India Company 1602 Antique Ship Bell $15,000 These are not the type of materials that you come across every day. Not only is the bell from a shipwreck, realizing that actually comes from the 17th century adds a lot of value to it. When the owner of an antique shipping bell came into the shop and claimed it was from Dutch East India Company back in 1602. Even though the item seemed quite valuable, it's the job of the guys at the store to doubt its validity. These types of deals usually cost thousands of dollars and taking a wrong step could cause you to lose a whole lot of money. The main issue why this bell was suspected of forgery was because it was considered to be on too good a condition to have been submerged underwater for quite a long time. This ain't right. I don't think this thing was in the salt water for any period of time to mount to anything. Let's get somebody to look at it before we go any farther. The guys at the shop brought in an expert to take a look at the bell to identify any foul play. But according to their expert, there wasn't and they had a valuable item on their hands. Its value was set to be around $15,000. Number 4. 1932 Ford Roadster Model B $75,000 Vintage car models are a possession enough to make anyone turn in their seats. When Rick was invited to come check out a 1932 Ford Roadster Model B, he knew it was a lifetime opportunity. To their surprise, when they got to the car, it was in surprisingly good condition. Rick had taken his son along for the trip and they both loved the car. After checking it out, they realized there's not too much room in the car to drive around, so this wound up being a problem if they weren't going to be purchasing the car for themselves. Rick's car expert Danny also came around and valued the Ford Hot Rod to cost around $75,000. I would see a car like this in the uh, 70 to 75 thousand okay. dollar range okay armed with this new information rick gets into negotiations with the seller after some back and forth on the value of the car an agreement was finally reached at sixty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars not bad number three a fabergé spider brooch fifteen thousand dollars a lot of drama has really gone down on Pawn Stars in the past, and this was just another example. In one of the most surprising moments on the show, a seller walks into the shop holding a piece of jewelry, but without really knowing how much it is worth. Probably just hoping to get a little money from its sale. Rick collected the spider brooch from her and examined it. Shockingly, it was the real deal, and he was very excited. Do you know what you have here? No, not at all. This is Fabergé. What did you want to do with it? I want to get rid of it. Yes, he was holding a very valuable item that the seller had no clue about, but what did he do instead? To add to the surprise, the seller only wanted a couple of thousand dollars, but was instead offered $15,000 by Rick. Now that's impressive. He could have easily taken the deal at whatever price she offered, but he decided to remain honest. At the end of the day, it turns out that the Fabergé spider brooch cost $80,000, making this purchase a great deal. And good move on Rick. Number 2. 200 pounds of silver. $111,000. Jeff was the owner of 200 pounds of silver, and he was ready to cash in on this investment of precious metal. His father entrusted the silver to him, so he went to the shop with different sacks and bags of silver. Everything he had was pure silver from the bars to the coins. There were practically no issues with the quality of the silver and the guys at the shop were ready to buy it immediately. In fact, Rick stated that all that silver would make the old man act like a child. Now there was one instance when Rick had to test a large silver bar amongst the items. So you're saying this might not be pure silver? What I'm saying is there might be a chunk inside that's not pure silver. 
It was fun to watch, but to everyone's relief, it was also pure silver. They offered Jeff a groundbreaking sum of $111,000. The shop couldn't offer a higher price or they risked damaging their profit margins. They stuck to this sum and negotiations were finalized for that same amount. Number 1. Mary Ford's 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul Guitar $150,000 a lot of reputable and valuable guitars have passed through pawn shops. Any guitar which then dates as far back as the rock era is worth even more and are always being traded in at one point or the other. Now you may have heard a lot of guitar stories, but this one is different. It actually belonged to a pioneer of rock. According to the owner of the guitar, it belonged to his Aunt Mary and she used to play it with her husband, Les Paul. Les Paul's more or less a legend. Basically, everything about a modern electric guitar was invented by him. It remains one of the most iconic moments on the show because they were dealing with a once-in-a-lifetime guitar. They were looking at a 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar that was played by the wife of the man who created it. They called in an expert who valued it at $150,000, but Rick ended up purchasing it at a lesser price of $90,000. Well, that is it for this episode. Which of the items did you think is the most valuable? Leave us a comment about your opinion below. Make sure to like and subscribe. It does really help us out a lot. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.